Taco Bell and that story. So it got called Taco Bell. It's really interesting. And it's a local high temperature play that goes up to 10, 10 11, and 20. Wow. What, well, what's the top on it? 22, 23? You don't know. It has a little bit of uh, alumina or oxide, what we call oxide, and therefore uh, a little bit of alumina, which is refractory. So when they put in the new Taco Bell down there, they called me and said, Richard, we found some clay down there. Hmm. Those are different plays around the country. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about like Georgia has their own clay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you say Georgia? Georgia, yeah. Yeah, all our uh, KLM come from Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they're probably in the, the white clay. Are you from Georgia? No. Oh, okay. Kentucky. Well, Kentucky's okay too. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky's okay too. Yeah. Yeah. We have what they call Kentucky ball clay. Very plastic. Uh, Gives us, yeah, gives it comes well. from Kentucky. Did you bring any with you? No. <laughs> yeah. Well, scrape it off the bottom of his car. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, where's your car? <laughs> oh, oh, it's out here somewhere. <laughs> you can get the bugs off the front of the car. <laughs> Does, so does the spinning of it sort of give it a structural internal stability to the to the clay? Does the making it go around and pulling it around in a circle give it uh, internal? That's a great question. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. I mean, because it's it because seems like it would be stronger than if you just like laid out a piece and compacted it or something. Well, circles.